Hello, my friends. Yes, I'm going to call you my friends from now on because we really are friends, right? So welcome, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm going to make a review. It's just a mini review because I've barely used this. I've actually used it a couple of times only of my Lueve small puzzle bag. This is such a gorgeous, it's a beautiful handbag. So if you want to know what my thoughts and opinions are about this uh, baby right here and what fits inside as well as some mod shots, then stay tuned. If you are new here, my name is MC. You may comment down below videos you want to see. I do luxury fashion and lifestyle related content. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn that bell on for new videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and follow me on Instagram. A link of which is always in the description box below. And yeah, thank you so much. Oh yes. I know that the Lueve puzzle bag came out a long time ago. Influencers, bloggers, even celebrities got the bag years back. And to be honest, I am aware I am 100% basic. So here I am getting it years later. And I just got this last month. My unboxing video link is up here. I have always loved the design in this particular color, which is tan, and hardware, which is gold hardware, and the logo, which is blind stamp, is very subtle. I chose the size, which is a small, because I'm into small bags right now, and I don't carry a lot of stuff, and I already have enough medium-sized bags, enough mini so since it is small it can go cross body which is great i'm going to insert some watches of me wearing this bag before the end of the video i really love this color it is a perfect tan and in my opinion it's not too brown not too yellow not too light it's a wonderful neutral and matches with everything just to be extra uh, clear. I got the grained leather. That's why it has a gold metal hardware and a slightly uh, warmer camel color. Yeah, uh, whereas the smooth leather tan option comes with silver hardware only. So this one is a bit higher than the smooth leather. However, um, both are great colors you can wear year round and that I consider it as a big pro. Another pro is the strap which is adjustable to four lengths. You can see that there are four holes right here and I have adjusted the length to the third level which is I think uh, it's perfect for me. Not too high, not too low. I'm 5'4 in height for reference. So if you go shorter, there will be a bit of strap uh, left over as it was well <laughs> but it dangles more than normal which is a little messy for my taste although there's a leather slider to slip the extra strap through it is sometimes annoying you know to fix or straighten up the strap from time to time so before I share some of my final thoughts on this puzzle bag, I want to show you what fits inside. All right, so it looks like so. It can carry a good amount, but to be honest, I only carry a few essentials, but for the purpose of this video, I have to load it with uh, I have loaded it with things you or others may want to carry and to show you its actual space capacity. So I'm just going to pull each item one by one instead of showing you everything <laughs> all at once. Alright, so this one is my 
sunglasses from Louis Vuitton. You can see the case. This is my current sunglass uh, favorite. It's dirty. <laughs> Another is my key pouch from also from Louis Vuitton. It's with my key fob and house keys. My perfume another from louis vuitton my favorite at the moment <laughs> and i have my recto verso right here i love 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 this slg it's in black umprint leather you can see that it has four slots my main uh, cards the ones i just you know normally use and some membership cards this is uh, for my gym and some important calling cards and a note. I also have uh, membership cards for and some bills. So that's what you can see in this slg which is the recto verso my favorite i can just you know grab this and go without using any bag you know <laughs> which i really really uh, love and then i have here my hermes bastia with coins A pack or box of candy of course the mini pochette with stuff inside I have my yeah lip gloss from tower 28 which I am loving my lipstick from Dior I'm also wearing this right now I have here a, a new favorite lip balm and cheek balm from tower 28 Hand cream from L'Occitane, Chanel compact powder, oh, and a hair clip. And of course, I have here my nail oil, which is very important. Where's my phone? <laughs> well, of course, because it's already full of stuff. If I want my phone inside, then I'll change this or I'll remove the case and just use the pouch instead. My cell phone on top. And so everything fits. Now let's see what's in the back wet wipes an extra face mask and that's all i can even put uh, some cards in here so as you can see it's not looking bulky at all the shape is still the same except this one the space between the handle and the top uh, or the flap of the bag became bigger and of course it's heavy that's why i don't want to carry so much i don't want to ruin the structure and everything you know and because of that i also want to show you how the organizer the one organizer which i've uh, shown you last video looks like there you go this is the zumoni organizer it's in the color i forgot but i am going to include it in the description box below so
and my final thoughts in my opinion the puzzle is really easy to use it is light versatile and practical it's also durable i think and the strap is adjustable so you can wear it multiple ways you can remove the strap and carry it as a clutch beside handheld your belongings are secured with the zip on top the zip on the back i find it uh, less useful because it can't fit my uh, Pro Max. I wouldn't stuff anything major in here as it would make it lumpy. It's only for loose cards or face masks like you saw a while ago and stuff but you know it's not a deal breaker for me and the one feature I wish it would have fit. Fit would make the bag perfect. I think the design is super cool. It can also be folded up like I've shown you during my unboxing of this bag and put it in your luggage when you like to bring extra. For the cost, this is something you have to consider. I do not think the puzzle is the greatest in terms of value if you buy it at a full price plus tax. The resale value isn't great as well. Well, not that we always buy things for resale, you know what I mean. So if you like it, I would suggest or recommend you find one from a pre-love market and I'm sure you'll save a ton of money. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and find this video helpful. I'll see you in my next one.